Mr. Dennis Wolf. What's up, my man? Oh, good. How good. about you? Thank yeah. you for having me. Everything's good, man. Everything's good. We're just here kicking. Still getting older every day. Yeah. Uh, uh, that sucks and, sometimes. And now you qualified to be at you. You also already qualified for the old school round table. You're old enough. <laughs> you know? So what's what's? Uh, I appreciate that. <laughs> what's what's new? What's going on in Dennis Wolf's life? Oh well, yeah, a lot of things to do this year. I'm very much looking forward to it. Um, first, it's uh, the Dennis Wolf Classic, April 6th. So that's uh, gonna be our fourth uh, show. So and uh, yeah, uh, trying to get better and better every year. And after that, uh, of course, FIBO seminars in Germany, and uh, I'm gonna do a Russian tour. Mm -hmm. wow. Chris, Chris. Hey, Russian bodybuilding. It's, it's, uh, do you follow? Do you follow mm -hmm. Russian bodybuilding? I mean, uh, of course. Uh, I mean, there, there's still some young superstars mm -hmm. which we have never heard of. You know, so there's like a guy. He looks already like a pro, really massive, uh, close to uh, kind of uh, you know the look like a hallway. You know, um, and he is. Trying to turn pro, uh, Danilov, I think is his name. So uh, a lot of uh, great athletes over there, and uh, yeah, we're trying to kind of you know do a few seminars, uh, master classes. That that's uh, like personal training for uh, you know huge amount of people. That's what I mm -hmm. call it there, master class. So things like that. Are you yeah. saying um, Oleg is uh, the the, um, the one that was pretty strong over there? The, what's that bodybuilder's name? Ah, uh, the ah, uh, that that uh, young kid. Uh, um, my God, Vito, right? Vito, 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 okay. whatever. Yeah. Russian? Yeah, he's Russian, but he moved to. Yeah, he lives uh, in Brazil. Uh, Brazil. He lives in yes. Brazil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's the other one. That's the other one. He's already. I think he's a pro, right? So yes. okay, he's trying to. He's trying to compete, but something. Is not going right for him. Uh, healthy uh, issues, you know. Then um, his, his wife was pregnant, so yeah, he didn't compete in the last few shows where you know everybody was waiting for. Yeah, I think they but also yes, they also mentioned something about he's having um, issues, visa issues, because he was supposed yeah, yeah, yeah. he was supposed to do Romania or Prague, and Italy, they, and they, or Italy, and they Italy. and they said yeah. they, they denied his Europe visa, but he got mm -hmm. a, but he got a U.S. visa. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Now when we at uh, Russian bodybuilding, you guys remember Alexander Lesukov? Yeah. He was. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What happened to him? What's his name? He was the Lesukov. He, he yeah, yeah Lesukov. years ago, twelve years ago, he baby face completely and a monster body, and then he turned pro and competed maybe in one two shows and disappeared. I don't. Even yeah. Know. So he he. he was amazing looking uh, yeah. guy like you know in, in like crazy proportions round muscle uh, everything like that but somehow he didn't kind of move up yeah. and uh, yeah he, and I think he didn't compete that often too yeah the first pictures that they came uh, Dennis I'm surprised you don't remember he was 100% you think somebody photoshopped a baby's face on, oh uh, Oh yeah, I know exactly who you're talking about now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He always had the same coach, and he just yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's the guy that couldn't get in shape. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, he was a little bit off every time he was yeah, competing. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, I, of course, yeah, physique, not not, oh not enough uh, uh, competitions, you know, to kind of get get yeah, up, yeah. you know, you push up about, your name uh, yeah. back then. You're talking about baby face. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was yeah, a big that, dude, why, big dude. He was big. Yeah. Yeah, thick. Yeah, yeah round like you know, like uh, I don't know, like what, what, uh, who to compare with, but he he looked impressive Did every he... time. You know, you saw the pictures. You know, back then we had the forums and uh, you know this this forum threads, whatever they called, they were full with with you know comments and especially uh, his uh, you know update pics and all that. That was kind of you know blowing off. Uh, the internet. <laughs> did he did he ever turn pro? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And did a couple of shows maybe, and then that was it. Uh, yeah. And then and now he just disappeared. I think he was competing. Uh, 
with me, uh, I think, at the Arnold, some in Spain, you know. Yep. I, I don't know, I don't remember, 13 or something, 14, I don't know. Uh, both of you, Dennis, is, did you compete in Russia? No. No, unfortunately not, uh, never. All right, Chris and I did, yeah, but uh, yeah, uh, Chris did multiple times. Yeah, I yeah. even guest posed over there one time. I mean, it was pretty cool. It, actually, uh, I went to go train. I started with a K. Screw, I can't even say it, so I'm not gonna try. But it was a Siberi <laughs> Siberian side, and damn, uh, I don't like you to try to pronounce it. <laughs> Scourge, bro. Uh, I don't. I can't. Say it. <laughs> I, I don't know. Yeah, but you're not even. You're not even. You're not even trying. Maybe Dennis can pick I'm it up. Try. <laughs> you just want me to stupid. <laughs> Where, where was it? Like, what part? We go to the like, Siberian yeah. side, and it started with yeah. the K. It was like 2009, I think. I was guest posing, and it was it was it was a uh, it was it was cold as shit. I was I was there for like over a week or so. It's cold and as fuck. They, they brought out the red carpet, man. It was so so cool, yeah. man. It was like they had people special. Sleeping, <laughs> sleeping in the kitchen, to where any time of the day or night, I got up to go one and send food. They would fix whatever I wanted. So some. I walk down there, everybody's sleeping. I'm like, hey, I want a cheeseburger. <laughs> yeah, cheeseburger, what a surprise. Yeah, or anything I want it, just anything. <laughs> I never yeah. even, I never, yeah. I never in my life been to Russia. The close, yeah. hey, the, no. that's right. I never, the, never seen anything. The close, uh, the, you know, about you being there. Yeah, the closest I got to Russia was I was in one, of, I was in one of them from St. Petersburg. That was it. That's it. <laughs> well, you, know, uh, you, you never been invited, or why didn't you, I, you know, know what? I never ever. I don't even re recall. Well, I had a few people that asked me to come to Russia, but it was never really interesting and sounded never serious enough for me to even consider it, because I know okay. that I would need a visa. I had to go through all this shit, you know, mm -hmm. with the U.S. passport. You can't just walk into Russia. No, you, you apply for a visa. Yeah. yeah. You no, know, yeah. but you know, the, the, when I was there, they had a, it was like a, a, a w old war bunker they made into a gym. So oh. they go down into the gym. And they had like no bathroom, no window, no nothing. Even the, <laughs> I got I got a photo on my Instagram somewhere. I got to find it. But it was a car seat made into a leg press. So <laughs> what? They had a car seat, it was like a gold velvet car seat. And then they set it inside the thing for a leg press. So you're sitting in this car seat to press in the leg press. <laughs> they had some little 16 year old kid. He must be really, he must be fully on. That is 16 year old kid there that wanted to pose in front of me. And you can, you can see your breath in the damn coat, in the damn, in, in the gym. Because it was cold. Oh, uh, yeah. And are I was, you sure it was uh, like 2000 something? Not 2009 or because 2000, I can imagine in the 90s, yeah, it was bad, very bad time. 2009, bro. 2009. Really? Yeah, I guess <laughs> I was at the end of my, my end of my rope. <laughs> I could I could, I could find a photo of it. You should, I was yeah. backstage, but uh, who, who was that? Yeah. As we talk about uh, Russian bodybuilders, let's uh, acknowledge. Alexander Fedorov and uh, yeah. Sergei Chalastov, they both made it to the Olympia, mm -hmm. right? Okay. And yeah. uh, then Dennis, uh, a, a good friend, Leonid Istomin is there. Mm -hmm. Leonid uh, was a very prospective uh, bodybuilder. I remember when he won the uh, IBB World Championship. It was amazing. But then he had the... Uh, uh, liver transplant. Uh, liver transplant, yeah, and that was critical. Yeah. Uh, Leonid, if you're watching, so, so did you did you know him before he had the transplant? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I know. So. Well, you know the whole story, no? No, I, 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 guess, I guess not. You don't know? I, I thought no. I thought that he, he called you. Well, no, no, you know, I I met him. I met him at the FIBO four years ago, five years ago, maybe, maybe it was six years. I don't remember. At the FIBO, I met him. This is the first time I talked to him. He was there with uh, with his girl. And we sat, there, oh, wow. we sat across the street from the FIBO at the hotel, Dorint, where I stayed. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, the, 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 this is in short, uh, but uh, I thought that he told you this. That, that's why uh, he kind of started talking to me uh, afterwards. So, so the thing no, is... No, he told he me was, that, he, that he worked with you before. Yes. He yeah, told, yeah. Yeah, he told me but, that. But uh, that, uh, 
if he had a liver transplant and it was like metastasizing, you know, crazy, his liver was seven kilos. And then, and then basically they gave him like a, a few weeks to live or something because oh, he, he needed to find a donor. And, uh, you know, basically I told him, like, listen, man, I'll give you a piece of my liver. You know, that was it. <laughs> and then I haven't heard from him at all. And it was like one of those things you think like, oh, Jesus Christ. You know, and then he he texted me, you know, everything was okay. He got, uh, you know, uh, yeah. my my uh, sister's husband is a liver transplant um, surgeon. Mm -hmm. So he knows that the piece of liver can regenerate, right? So you can give a piece of your own and then it, it would just like miraculously regenerate. So I was saying, like, Milos, well, if I Milos, do Milos, do you do you <laughs> do you really think a piece yeah. a piece of our livers would still regenerate? Our livers uh, are resistant. They've they've been through everything. Yeah. So you know, come on. If I it's, if I was a if, as a if, fact, if you should value it higher. Yeah. If I <laughs> if I was one that needed a transplant, a liver transplant. I think I wouldn't want to ask in the bodybuilding uh, industry to give me a fucking piece of liver. <laughs> I will go to the. Would take it from the I, would, I would rather go to the farmers market. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, anyway. Yeah, but yeah, I, when I met him, he told me about he told me about the story that he uh, he uh, had a liver transplant, and I and I asked him because he wanted to compete. I said, why Why would you want to compete again? You know. Well, let let, let me uh, expand a little bit on that one. Uh, he was using an IGF-1. And back at that time, uh, there was like so many research findings and all that stuff that's carcinogenic. And as he was using for quite some time, I was like, oh, man, you know, you should do it periodically, not uh, too often, too much and all that stuff. And because uh, you know, I know a Spanish guy and, you know, some uh, some Italian and so on, they, they got uh, uh, liver cancer and... Uh, Surprisingly, they were using IGF-1. So I just told him I'm not for it, especially not at that time. Oh. And uh, months after, he mm -hmm. told me, like, yeah, yeah, he got it. So, you, I, you so, know, I don't so do know much you, it's correlated. You, oh, you don't know? Yeah, but but uh, really, that's the reason why I didn't... I used it back in 97, and then uh, there was a couple... Of, uh, and then every time, you know, you want to do uh, some research, and then every time I read, carcinogenic, carcinogenic, carcinogenic. Oof. Okay, so so let me pass on that one. Hmm. Yeah, so right. I wasn't really uh, advising it, but then a uh, few people use it successful, successfully. So it's like periodically for a short period of time, you know, I'm not yeah. against it. But, yeah, but uh, here was the case that I warn him. And then uh, imagine if I warn you about something and then two weeks later, you told me, oh, my God, yeah, I got the cancer and it was... Uh, developed. Yeah, see, so he must have had it for quite some time, though. Yeah, yeah, he didn't know. And then uh, whatever symptoms. Imagine, I, I don't know, but his liver, maybe 700 grams normally, and then uh, uh, blowing up to, to seven kilos. Damn. <laughs> what Damn, about that man. Russian GH they used to have? That was... Say again? That Russian GH they used to have... Um, I had, I had, I had, yeah, it. Yeah, I had, I had a, listen, on European Grand Prix tour, I got like uh, 100 for like $100 or something. I know, I know. <laughs> it's okay, I'll take you this. I, and, uh, <laughs> I, had, I had, I had, deep, that Russian D-ball was good too. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know, me, me, me yeah. don't stand alone. Oh. Which are? That's, uh, you know, it, it's called. Methane, don't stand alone. Yeah, that's uh, uh, yeah. Methane, methane, methane. Coming that white bottle like that. They also yeah. had, they also had, but I'm talking 30 years ago. They had good uh, uh, sustenance on there called Omnadrain. Oh um, yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, Omnadrain no, is Polish. Polish, Polish. Okay, yeah. but yeah. what's the yeah. Russian? Yeah. Is there one from Russia? Oh um, yeah, oh yeah. No, well, they're so. Polish, Russian. That's all the same for me, anyway. So. Poland, Russian, oh, it's it actually. It looked Russian. I know. Yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to say the name because somebody probably on the, on the comments are going to respond. Uh, early 90s, there was some uh, anabolic there, Silly Bolin. Do you know, Dennis? Yeah. What's I was I probably uh, was reading it? about that because, you what's know, it, I, what's I, it called? I studied. 
Golden. Silly Boleyn. I think it was yeah, Silly Boleyn. And what is it? It's, fine. it's an abolic steroid, but uh, it was uh, it was not common. It was not on uh, our list. You know the 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 common one. I don't even gonna never even, never, even even, never even heard of it. Yeah, I wanted, yeah, yeah. I wanted anything Russian back in the day. <laughs> you didn't want to. It, I, I said oh, anything I Russian. Anything. I wanted it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. That. <laughs> <laughs> anything <laughs> European and Russian. I wanted that finagia, all that. Give it to me. I'm trying to find uh, what the normal size. I uh, know the normal size of a liver I can find, but nothing. Liver, yeah. The normal liver. I think it's like six hundred to eight hundred. Grams, something the, like this. The normal, the normal so size, let's say for 36 to 45 years old, is 5.5 inches long. <laughs> the weight? The weight, it doesn't, it doesn't yeah. tell me the weight. I, I don't know. Uh, I, I kind of remember uh, that figure, 700 Down. grams. Is, uh, yeah. But anyway, so uh, Dennis Wolf, yeah. what is your contest? In which country? It's in Germany. It's oh. in uh, Bochum, there where, you know, I kind of grew up <laughs> since I was 14. Oh, really? I was living in this area, so and that's why, yeah, I'm doing the show there. Uh, is, is Dennis Grease in your pocket for that? Huh? What? Is Dennis <laughs> Grease in your pocket for that? <laughs> I put him, I, listen, I was the first one to put him onto this. <laughs> What? I said I was the first one to put him onto this, the very first one. I, I said, know, listen, I you, know, should, you should have your own show there. You know, and it's doing good. Yeah, I remember, you know, when, when it all started, you know, we, we had a conversation. And then, like, I remember, like, three or four weeks later, I was like, okay, kind of already forgot about this because, you know, it's new to me, you know. And then I called him again, and, and then he said, yeah, it's about to start, you know, let's go. So, yeah, <laughs> and since then, we're on it. And then, of course, that freaking, uh, you know, what, what, what happened in 2020, uh, the pandemic stuff so then we had to kind of pause it for two years yeah. uh we started it in 2019 yeah no he's doing he's doing good it's got a good show it's it's actually a, one of the biggest the bigger regional shows in germany you know yeah it, i agree it's uh yeah. you know we always sold out so less three times in a row we are sold out so it's amazing and uh yeah i'm, I'm thankful that no? we have a lot of fans there are you getting pro cars yet or no no no, it's, no it's a regional show it's a regional, regional. Okay, none. Okay. Yeah. So, um, oh. what? So, what's new, M Milos? You still in Japan? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I am. Are you sitting on one of the? Yes, uh, fact, when, when was the last time you've been to the gold gym? There's a, yeah? gold, there's a yeah, gold, oh, yeah. there's a gold gym in Japan. Yeah, there's a gold gym all over the place here. Yes. Oh, really? So, just like one of those things, right? <laughs> Right. So here's here's, hey guys, here's, here's, what dumbbell, I, you know? here's what I wanted to ask you because you sent a picture and I didn't even know. I, I I see the picture and I was like, why is he sending this picture? It doesn't make no sense. You holding someone's hand. I was like, what uh -huh. the fuck? And then you asked me, you didn't recognize the person. I, yes. And then I zoom in. I was like, yeah, fuck, that's Mitsuru. Mitsuru Kabi. How is he? Oh. How is he doing, man? Well, it was, uh, you know, first of all, I was coming into the gym, right? And, and this guy comes out much smaller than, he was never a big guy, right? But uh, remember that he competed, actually? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I remember. The level yeah. Yeah. So but it's the same face, uh, you know, bald guy. And he's like, oh, my God, Mitz. So he was my translator at, at, uh, at uh, uh, seminar and training. And he's, he's super good, right? Uh -huh. uh, as far as training, I don't speak Japanese, but you know when when you uh, teach and somebody is just fluidly talking about it, and you know how Japanese people every so often they they say English, uh, word, you know. So it, 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 side chest to, you know they they uh, add o or uh, uh, giant set to, <laughs> you know and stuff like that. Right? Uh, so he was good, uh, but it's yeah. As far as uh, uh, nutrition. Uh, it just he probably never really studied to know what is essential amino acid or stuff like that. So I could see that blank face. But he's back in industry. You know, uh, I was trying to bribe him to to get me some of those old pictures. You know, back from early '90s because he started in a, a industry '91, same year as I started. So you know. Uh, they, they, they must have the archives of all these comparisons. You know, how much would you want? Let, let's say when you 
when you beat uh, Chris in Hungary to have a like detail. I don't think he. Know, I don't think he has pictures from that show because he wasn't there. He wasn't there. But who? Somebody has to have. He, uh, you know what Mitch has, has video. what he Mitch, has video what, want, what Mitch, what Mitch has is all these Battle for the Olympia videos that he started yeah. doing. He sold that to the Bruce Lester. I, okay. I remember that. And then, yeah, uh, and he still he he had someone that he came to my house and everything after a show. Yeah. Uh, we used to have these little victory uh, lunches at my my mom's house. And he came in videotape. That we uh, was at in my, my room. We was playing PlayStation. Uh, before the show, me and Dexter was in the club afterwards. He had the camera. I mean, I want all of that shit. It's like gold. Mitch yeah. was the one. Mitch was the one who flew all the way to Thailand to shoot my first video. Yeah, yeah, he would do that. Yeah, yeah he did. He did. Wow. You know, yeah. my very. He put, my in, very lot, he put in a lot of effort for all of that video stuff. Yeah, man. yeah. yeah I, you guys, I, I really liked him, man. He was a good guy. When I, 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 I love, when I, I love when the guy. When I, I love see the guy. when I see him come in looking like a hockey player with them with them. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember setting that equipment up. Hey, like <laughs> that looked crazy. Yeah, but yeah. hey, he was ready for everything. He was ready. So yeah. he could like lay down, knee in, you know, everything. Yeah, yeah, he was yeah. equipped. Fully Keep in equipped. mind, I mean, he started <laughs> he started Battle of the Olympia, right? And then what he did, yeah. he would fly. Uh, in two weeks, he will he will see fifteen guys, right? So he goes to Metroflex to to see, to see Ronnie, and then back and forth, back and forth. But he was telling me like, oh yeah, he uh, did a Jay Cutler video five times. I said, okay, you remember that? Uh, I, I didn't see it originally, but I seen it, you know, recently. Uh, Jay is in a house introducing, you know, his house, and then showing. Oh, his, with a I saw that. <laughs> and turning the TV on, and it was so oh, yeah. on porn. <laughs> yeah. I see that. This? And it was on the video, right? I saw that. <laughs> what are you was, watching? Yeah, was, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, that, yeah, that, 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 that so ended up, the footage ended up in the video. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's great. Yeah, he would love it. <laughs> but you know how Jay, especially Jay, back in the day, he was kind of introvert, and you know he didn't talk much, didn't laugh, didn't smile. You know, here, here yeah. I can here I can only say what Chris told me at one point. Uh, Tes <laughs> testosterone is a hormone you can't fight. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful you, thing. You will always lose. This is Chris. This is Chris's words. I kept that always in the back of my head. <laughs> <laughs> so, so why should Jay feel feel better than us? It's Being the same. Different, yeah. Yeah, it, it's no different. You know, that's been. Okay, hey, there was porn on a lot of on a lot of TVs. Trust me. So you, you didn't you didn't catch it. The Mitsuru was there as a guest in the house, mm -hmm. and he was using the TV. Oh, it was and for Mitz. That's what he was yeah. watching. So I guess you know when, when he turned it off. <laughs> he, it was the same channel. So, so Jay had no idea that he was showing his TV system and stereo and then turned turn it on, and it was like full blown thing. <laughs> All right, well, I guess, and then he was, Mitch, what are you watching? I guess, uh, that, that, that was I, guess, I guess Mitch was on some test too. Jay did. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Uh. So, what's, what's new about the, um, any new rumors about the Arnold? Hey, let's talk about this real quick. Who saw the hottest picture, man? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 That dude. Looks... And the video. And the video. Listen. Even I, his I even, said... even his back looks already improved. Yeah. It Very is. impressive. Yeah, yeah. He is. But eight weeks before Olympia, or what was it, even ten weeks, like he was shredded and all that stuff. Now he looks a little bigger. Mm. You know, a little bigger, a little thicker. I mean, more did, I mean, I, I, I thought he was a little thick in the middle. Yeah, but but listen, as so, I was saying constantly throughout, it's still hashtag bodybuilding. It's still a shape that uh, I think for me counts. You you cannot be hiding in conditioning. You know, this yeah. this is already you know established. So he can bring next. Uh, okay, yeah, but if he comes in, if he comes in, if he comes in as full as he looked on the picture. It's going to be a yeah. problem. It's going to be a problem for anybody. Oh, of course. Listen, he could uh, won four Olympias by now, and nobody would complain, mm. right? 
Mm-hmm. But but still, it, it's uh, when we talk about condition, he has a crazy most muscular and an ab shot, right? But uh, uh, that condition doesn't shows off in in other poses as much. Think about it. I I mean I, back I, I back shots for sure. I have to disagree a little bit. Okay, so so uh, tell me if if you see side chest side triceps only and the back shots. Okay, these four shots. Yeah, but, but uh, we came, the first time you see, you yeah. would think that's crazy conditioning. Uh, no, maybe not. Maybe not as what it was. He's not what it used to be from the back. But yeah. but yeah. I believe mm-hmm. that this is what they're going for for this show. Crazy conditioning yeah. all around. Because when I look at his back now, his back now looks better than he did at the Olympia. Yeah, it looks impressive. Yeah. yeah. So hey. now. Now, if he can stay full and clipping on that stage, because he's so short, especially when he stands mm-hmm. next to Samson or next to Andrew, I don't mm-hmm. think he will get outsized. Yeah, but he's going to be odd man standing there because all the, those guys are tall, right? So he's going to be, he doesn't have a small little, uh, um, excuse me, <laughs> I had the people over here, the same size, you know, or, or heights. Mm-hmm. So he's going to, I compete against the tall guys, and uh, he could be. So imagine Andrew coming, you know, bigger, fuller, and then uh, um, Justin Rodriguez, you know, then uh, Akeem Williams, you know. So uh, yeah, but that doesn't you know, make, that doesn't, brand then. I, 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 yeah, I, I see. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Uh, I mean, his first, his first favorite going as a second place no. uh, runner-up at Olympia, <laughs> I see former you, champion. His, I see what you're saying, and, and you have a point that we always say the taller guy will always win. But in his defense, yes, but in yeah, but in his defense, I gotta say, he impresses me every time he steps on stage. Yeah. I don't know yeah. if it's an illusion that he can create because he looks wider than these taller guys. Yeah. yeah. You know, so yeah. he, whatever he does, it, it's working for him. And I think that because who he is. And because mm-hmm. of we already know his condition is going to be spot on. Yeah. Now it's I, already on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Exactly. On. I mean, he can. If the show was next week, he will be ready to go. Yeah. I would. I would like to see him the way he is right now on stage. Just, just don't drink for the night. Yeah. I would. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I would want to see what that looks like. And and at the end of the day, it's it's going to be a two man race in my eyes. It's going to be between him and Samson. And yeah. if he looks better than at the Olympia. Hardy, I think he will. Yeah. I think... The, is, uh, I think how is, huh? Go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. I, think I was going to say, how is, uh, how is Samson looking? It's very good. Uh, and Because uh, you guys were concerned and, and, and text me about his injury, right? Yeah. I, I talked to him, yes. Uh, he popped the hamstring doing a, a standing lateral. And I tore my hamstring once on a stiff leg deadlifts back in like 91 and then second time the same thing but i was going stupid heavy you know isolated standing and he he heard the pop and it was like super painful but already uh i mean i was talking to him this morning uh he was doing a cardio walking on a, on a, a treadmill it was doing a, such a pace you know that when you push 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 and your hands are worst makes it makes it worse yeah so he said he's just backing off from a hamstring for another week. Yeah, yeah. So, so you know, he's completely uh, fully into the prep. No. He wants to keep improving, right? And uh, he does believe that he's going to repeat. You know, he he believes he has the tools to. Uh, I mean, not he, just of course, he has to. He has to believe. To believe. Yeah. If he doesn't yeah. believe that, yeah. how is he going to prepare? And, and listen, he's uh, watching all our podcasts, and uh, in many podcasts, they keep saying, "Okay, we need to tighten up condition, tighten up, tighten up condition," right? Mm-hmm. So. Uh, he he's aware of all that stuff. He just he knows, of course, you can't beat the hot in condition department, but you just have to be 
close enough that you can, uh, you know, stand on the stage and beat him in maybe uh, other aspects. Mm. But he can get close in condition. You know. He does. Yeah. I don't think he has to have has has um Hardy's condition. But if yeah. he get in your let's say uh, your Olympia or Arnold condition, that's good enough yeah. for him with his shape. Uh, yeah. Does he have uh, enough? Does he have enough size in your eyes, um, Milos? I'm sorry. Does he have enough size in your eyes? Do you want more? <laughs> yeah. Listen, it's it's a uh, it's uh, still bodybuilding. He's shapelier the bigger he got. You know, so so I, I don't think there is a danger like Bob Chikrila was saying after last year's Olympia. Oh, Samson doesn't need to go to 300 pounds. He can go down to 280 or whatever. Interestingly, you were there when uh, Dorian Yates said that he doesn't think he's big enough and that his upper body, you know, still needs to catch up his lower. And, you know, so the the different views on that. I, I do think that uh, since I started working with him, he was in the beginning, a little bit narrow to the shoulders and uh, narrow to the back, right? And the uh, arms were, so arms are spending, shoulders are already like monstrous, back is much improved. Uh, so that's a scary uh, thought to, to think when somebody is so motivated and trained day in, day out. Uh, we did 12 shows in two years. I mean, in 25 months or something like that, you know? And he's still motivated to, to do a bunch. You know how after the Olympia, he went to Romania and Prague. Now he's doing two, two Arnolds. I would not be surprised that after Olympia, you know, this year he does something else. He just loves competing and, uh, you know, bringing that on a stage all over the world. I, I command him for it. I didn't even think about it. He, he goes, I'm in shape. There is a show in Romania. Mm -hmm. When is those Romanian people going to see top-notch bodybuilder? Yeah. They see that back in 2006 when Jay and Ronnie came, yeah. you know, or Prague, you know. Okay, in Prague, I guess, uh, Dennis, uh, you competed, right? You won. Then, then yeah. 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 So, but but I command him for it. And uh, that's what Chris and I did. We competed yeah. 72 times. All over the world. Yeah, right? yeah. 20, 20 years ago, those shows had the top 10 of the Olympia in, in the damn lineup. Yeah. Or the top yeah, six, yeah. at least. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, so nowadays, it's just not happening. Uh, anyway, uh, Samson is, trust me, motivated. And mm. he believes in himself. I still think that he had a best body on the stage at Olympia. And, and uh, another thing, I just posted today uh, on Instagram, I'm confused. Uh, I'm confused when you say I posted today because you post every hour. I, Which I, one I is posted, it? Uh, what, I what, it what hour? <laughs> what, what, <laughs> Which one? Because you post so many times. Yeah, a day. yeah, yeah. I post like uh, <laughs> post like every hour. That's and, so and every hour. <laughs> Aaron Baker. Aaron Baker from the. Oh yeah, uh, I saw that. I saw that. And then uh, somebody sent me my '92 Iron Man. Okay, let me tell and you. I just when I look at the conditioning, looks crazy. And it's not because it was crazy conditioning. It's because of those Iron Man lights. I swear mm. to God. Thank I mean, if I, would, if I would show up like this on Olympia stage, uh, I would look like a man's physique that uh, is, you know, okay. Uh, Here, you can't say that. Uh, I'm telling the you. Condition? I'm telling. Yeah, the video, yeah, condition? Yeah. The, the video you posted of you, was, yeah. that, was that the Iron Man? Yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah, condition yeah. could have stand on stage today with everybody. What are you talking about, Milos? Don't don't talk down on yourself. Come on. No, no, I'm not talking down. No, no, you didn't get me. This conditioning, as it showed on the Iron Man stage with the perfect lights, uh -huh. the lights emphasize the physique Got and you. cuts and all that stuff. Uh, if the same physique was under the Olympia lights, a different was, light. Okay. Okay. Close. Okay. So I'm thinking, why would all these Olympia guys look with the Iron Man conditioning every time. And, and I, I'm not saying this to complain and say, oh, Olympia promoters, you guys don't know how to do it. But that was 30 years ago. Yeah. And every Iron Man, as Chris, you know, won so many shows, right? We were counting on lights to increase our, our uh, conditioning impression. So I don't know. Would you, would, but would you say that it made you look better than you really looked? Or would you say that yeah. those I lights... Mean, those lights showed the true story. Nothing can make you look better than you really are. If okay, but if, but if how, just like 
those, those are the lights that emphasize your physique 100%. So do you think that you look better because it was those lights, or do you think those lights show the real you? I was, I don't know, I was confident against anybody in the world in that back that, that Yeah, yeah. Sure, yeah, I'm going to take the second part. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't yeah. Matter, but, but I mean it, you yeah. can look better than you, you are. Right, right. You know, but uh, I'm going to correct myself. I think I said it's 92. I went to a photo shoot. Uh, uh, Bob Gardner, I believe. Mm -hmm. He was the weeder guy, right? Yeah, yeah. weeder guy. To the set and uh, uh, Rich Gaspari was there. And I'm looking at Rich uh, on the side and say, oh, that, that doesn't look really that ripped. You know how uh, Gaspari was epitome of uh, super strided and all this stuff. And uh, then he walks five steps and goes right under the lights. And all of a sudden, boom, holy shit. Everything shows, okay? So I would like Olympia promoters to figure that out. I mean, if 30 years ago this could have uh, uh, be happening, somebody figured it out. You know, contact Mike Nevue, Chris and those experts and try to figure it out. I, I mean, seriously. I think I think it has something. Yeah. It has also something to do with you got. And and all the other the Olympia stage. Does something to do with the building also or not? You have to. I think it has a lot to do with the the right color, the right amount of oil. I mean, everything's got to be spot on. Yeah, but we we all screwed up. And oil. and then, you but, got but this. But Ironman lights, you just look freaky. I know, I mean, but you didn't have no all that shit going on in the, with the on LED screens behind you. Right. Yeah, that's yeah. Olympia was like uh, yeah uh, difficult. To judge, right? Because of this bling bling not in, all, uh, you not, know, yeah, in the back. Not only you this year. You can't see the full physique. Yeah, not right? only this year, last year the same. Yeah, this year was yeah. especially like, you I know, was, for me, even in the pre judging, like uh, the finals was better. But, you know, why not in the pre judging where the most important thing, you know, yeah. for the athletes and judging, of course. Just leave the background black yeah. for a couple of minutes. Yeah, like yeah, guys. that's the easiest thing. Yeah, Bring the black curtains when there is a you don't judging. Even, Milos, you don't even need black curtains no more. You have the huge screens. Turn that shit off. Yeah. Or yeah, just make it know. make it black because you can change the color any way you want. All right. And the other thing is, uh, you know, put the platform so the guys cannot uh, walk forward. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm serious. But Milos, serious. Glass, I remember. Glass, I remember. Uh, that was uh, your wall, I can't hide. <laughs> yeah, that was my oh, it was your key teaching. Every time I see a glass you were, you that high. Me, look, oh, every doesn't. every time you do a pause, next next pause, I would put a fucking just like an inch. I would put it. I would, I would put just a, an inch. I would put a. I would put a line in front of the fucking line where you stand and have some fucking electric on it. You step on there, yeah, you yeah. get electric. <laughs> you <laughs> you start. <laughs> because it was really it was really terrible this year, and I think. They get, it's got to stop. It became I, unprepared. It's too much. This year. Too much. They literally I mean, had, he had to send him back maybe f six, seven times. And I, oh, be, was, like, I, annoying. I was at a point where he pissed me off, and I'm sitting there watching. Yeah. And I'm like, just tell him if another oh, guy steps man. forward, he's going to go back in the line. End the story. Uh -huh. Do that one time, they will never do it again. Yeah. Okay, Dennis, so, so you're a promoter, and uh, other Dennis as well. That's his fourth show. And you're doing like goddamn 20 shows and whatever. I ain't doing so, like 20 shows. How do you figure out the lights? <laughs> how? I tell, you, I tell you how I do it. Uh -huh. everywhere, everywhere I go, I stand on stage or I put someone on stage where, and then we'll set the lights. And then I'll sit at the judges' table and then I'll decide which one will be the best. And then we mark it right there. That's the square. And then from there, we put the lines and the diagonals, you know, after we set the light. You can see it out if you sit, if you sit close enough. You can see where it's darker. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. Because because you want to go from both sides. You don't want to just yeah. go from the front because you have a lineup. You don't want to see the guys in the middle and the guys on the outside looking to stand in the dark. So you got to brighten the whole front, you know. So you got to try it a little bit. It's not that hard. I'm not saying we have the best lights, but it's got to be good enough for the the, the, the judges to see yeah. what's happening. Yeah. But don't you think that this is like most important aspect of a competition? I know, but not everybody has the uh, uh, has the same uh, lights. Some people, okay. you yeah. know, some theaters yeah. work with different lights, so you have to, you know. If somebody asked me, why not? Why doesn't Iron Man lights become a standard? And whoever did that, he come and teach 
and just present it. Okay, this is what it is. Unless I, it's a I trade underst- secret. I understand. Like, it. but but when uh-huh. you when you go when you go to venues where the lights there, you can't say, "Oh, I don't want this. I want to bring my own lights." Think how high it is. It, does, it doesn't work that way. Yeah. With venues, yeah. you know, if you ha- if you rent a convention center and then you bring your own stage and your own stage light, uh-huh. that's okay. But once okay, but, uh, but once you go into a venue where the, the stage is there, the lights there, you just you have to use them. You have to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's like very rare if they offer you kind of you know you you can like. I'm gonna give you an example. If you bring rent- your own stuff, you. Uh, just set it up like uh, extra, extra yeah. light or something, and uh, extra and, like music stuff and I'm you know a, I'm all a, of this. Milos, I'm gonna give you an example. If you rent a venue, let's say just an average venue, let's say the venue costs five thousand. What do you think yeah. your actual price will be after? Well, if the base price, if the base price is five, I guarantee you, you walk out of there with sixteen, seventeen. The tech cost is the most. Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to go into the business aspect and how much it costs and all mm-hmm. that stuff. It's Mr. Olympia. Spend extra money. You know Get how your much, own yeah. lights. You're Doesn't right. matter which. You're right. I don't care. I mean, so once and for all, you have those lights, and then whichever venue you choose, you bring it. And it's a perfect light. But you have to understand also one thing. Those lights are adjusted for the judges. So when the judges sit, they see the way they want to see. So sometimes it could be perfect for the judges, but we are too close to the stage where we were sitting. We're too close. You see how far? Yeah. <laughs> you see how far the judges were. So if you go way back, it's the same thing. You're going to look at the screen regardless. So at the end yeah. of the day, it's it's important that the judges can see. You know. Yeah. No. And 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 that's that's the way it is. And and the judges and the photographers sit right behind the judges. So that's why we get those good HD HD pictures, you know, and, and it looks different than from what we're looking at. Because like I said, I when we, we where we sitting, I'm looking on stage and I see Samson backstage, he was way harder than he looked on stage. Yeah. Not yeah. even not even posing. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I, 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 uh-huh. But uh, the the anyway, I, I would just not for a sake of anything else, but for the sport. I mean Best bodybuilders should have the best lights but, when they compete. Best but show. In the meantime, Milos, they mm-hmm. all have the same light, so it's not like anybody yeah, no, anybody no. has an advantage over the other guy. So if the light is shit, everybody has to post in shitty lights. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So you know, I don't, I don't think there's something's going to change, and somebody's going to try to copy the Iron Man. I don't know what it was with the Iron Man show. I don't. I don't. Yeah, yeah. I remember one thing though. When it wasn't in Redondo Beach, it wasn't the same light no more. That's what I was saying. I think the venue has something to do with it. Yeah. also. and we talking the Iron Man in Redondo Beach. Wait, which 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 year? A- any year. It switched when when I didn't do it one year. I said, "Hey, Dexter, I must have been like oh five. This, oh five. Did, didn't they switch? They switched, they, didn't they, they switch? The, didn't they just switch just before? Oh, remember when oh, Phil? Three, when, oh, you, when, four oh five. Uh, you remember when Phil Heath won the Iron Man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That wasn't at the in the redund- uh, That wasn't at the same place. That was a different. There was like a uh, wasn't it like an expo? No, it was it was a place in L.A. Uh, shit. But the, to, and then the light yeah. the light wasn't the same. I, I'm gonna have to find it on YouTube. Yeah. So I guess I guess it has it. something to do with the uh, with in the, the venue. What was the yeah, venue yeah. called? What was the venue called? Yeah. Redondo Beach. Ah, shit. Chris, um, come on. You drove there so many times. Uh, you won like 10 times. Nando, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> art, something. Something. And that art. that particular place had the best lighting. So maybe that was the light, the in-house lighting. Who knows? You know, sometimes it's the angle, you know? So you, you have to have the light coming from the top and from the front too, right? So, but the light from the front, it can be different angle, right? So like, Shorter angle, longer angle. So, and this, like, you know, um, gonna show the physique differently, right? So, more shadow, less shadow. Uh, it's difficult. So, if the if venue has the light, the setup, you know, so that's like, you probably cannot copy that. So, yeah, but, but it's hard, yeah. it's hard to find a venue that understands that this is a bodybuilding show. They go for theater or concerts, you know, where it doesn't really matter if they focus on one person with a spotlight. Or you have a stage light, you know, so you have to do it yourself. But 
enough about lights. I'm going to ask Dennis hey. Wolf, Dennis Wolf a question. Go ahead, Chris. No, I was just going to say I just I was just remembering walking across that stage and they had these they had each they had a big dome for each person, and I remember just walking across. It's almost like a it wasn't that wide, but it was like I just remember these big dome lights and they had like maybe like 15 of them in these different spots. In, at the uh, Iron Man. Yeah, yeah, it was man, it was nuts, dude. It yeah. was Arnold. even to, even to watch uh, Flex's first Iron Man, and, and and to watch the first one with with Sean Ray one, I was like, I was like, damn, I was like, this is this is this is like showbiz right mm. here. Oh, uh, it's just remarkable. Anyway, yeah, go ahead, Dennis. Off the yeah. guy, off the guys today. Look at the whole lineup. Which one is your favorite bodybuilder? Which one is, which one are you looking at saying this is this is what bodybuilding is all about? I would say like in the last two years, uh, I'll say Samson Deuda is very impressive. Uh, all his uh, development and of course he's a taller guy, and great symmetry, right? But then uh, I also like different type of body uh, bodybuilders, right? Like Nick Walker. I mean. For like in, in comparison to uh, Samson, you will probably call his body ugly, right? But that's also bodybuilding, right? So it is like crazy amount of mass he put on over the short amount of time as well, right? So, and this is also like uh, you know very impressive how fast he moves up and also placing very well. Yeah, uh, I I was watching your um, podcast from uh, you know after the Olympia, and you said if Nick were not injured, he would have won. So I'm, I'm, uh, agree. I agree with you on that. So, but yeah, Samson is the type of uh, bodybuilders right now I like. Mm. And of course, I mean Andrew Jack is close to that, but he's uh, more kind of uh, flex wheeler physique, more beautiful, more streamlined, uh, not so much muscle mass, right? Yeah, more streamlined. We had we had uh, his coach, uh, his trainer in the gym on the podcast last week. And I remember that, mm -hmm. I remember I asked him the question. I said, are you, you know, if, if he wasn't even sure when he's coming, you know? So from, it's funny because Chris said something like, yeah, we, 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 we arranging that or talking about it. I'm, I'm not sure. And somebody said, left a comment saying that Andrew already announced that he's not training with Chris. Mm. It, it, it felt kind of strange when I asked him and he couldn't really tell me. I said, listen, how are you going to, you know, so put, put, what's the deal there? Do you know, Chris? I don't know. I didn't, I didn't, uh, he didn't say anything to me, but, he, he, you know, when he, he don't want to answer a question. He just don't say anything. So yeah. he didn't say anything to me. Yeah, well. So I guess it's not, not that good then. <laughs> no, I guess I guess maybe because somebody I, I didn't I didn't watch all the videos with with Andrew, but somebody said that Andrew said in a video that he's not training with Chris this time. Mm. Yeah, I, I mean, well, it's everybody's choice, right? Yeah, yeah, of course, you know. But if you know, if, if he's sitting there thinking he's waiting, I mean, maybe he should communicate with him and find out. Yeah, a little bit too. Yeah, you know, because yeah, yeah. we already to talk, it out, we least. already we it's already having hard. the conversation with him and telling him you should train them both at the same time. Him and Mohammed Shaban and blah 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 blah. Mm -hmm. You know, at the end of the day, if he's not coming, then don't worry about all this. You know. Can Andrew? I agree, can, yes. can Andrew Jack win the Olymp uh, the Arnold in March? I mean, you asking me? Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, who? I don't think because uh, there's like uh, one champion and uh, another one is uh, the man to beat after the Olympia, right? So he's, you know, coming from Olympia, placing second, like losing the title to Derek. I think uh, my top two will be uh, Samson and Hadi. Mm. Chris, come here. Is, uh, is Andrew a shoe in for top three? Mm, not a shoe in. I think top four for sure. Huh. I think top four. Who will slide yeah. in? Who will, who could slide into the top three? I'm not saying third. No, even I mean, even Rodriguez is looking better than what I thought he was gonna. Look. Huh. I mean, so you know, you know, you got Hadi looking the way he's doing. I, I wish Hadi would bring that stomach down a little bit. Um, 
Yeah, but and, it, you know, it's eight weeks out. Hamstrings need to come in more. Yeah, I know. Hmm. Uh, hamstrings need to come in more. Uh, it looks like the glutes are going to be better than that Olympia hmm. for Hadi. What's the status? Then, What's the status and, on Rubio? Uh, I mean, I know he spent a lot of time with his family. He hasn't seen his family in, in a long time. So he, he's just starting to gear up, you know, hard now. But he wasn't fat when he started. So that was a good thing. Uh, what about Visa? Visa, is that, is that all taken care yeah, of? Yeah, it's, no, it's still, still in the works. Still ongoing. So he doesn't even know if he gets it? Right. Okay. So he's not, so he's not 100%. All in all, but, but he's going to do it. But he's going to do one of them. He's going to do it at least, at least that on um, the one in the UK. He oh, has, a, okay. has a a clear shot at doing. So he has no it. problems making it to Europe. No, yeah. he'll be able to make. It. So how, he's how, not the shirt for the Arnold Ohio. Not how, for sure. Milos, yeah. how, Milos, how hard is it to prepare for a show when you don't even know if you get the visa? Because you're a coach of Berus Tabani, who's been trying to come to the Olympia for four it, years now. It breaks my heart. I mean. Yeah. You don't understand at least five shows that I remember hmm. that he was ready to step on stage. And, you know, uh, how much preparation cost. Besides everything else, sacrifices that you do. But uh, when the country doesn't have a good economy and then you have to, you know, save the money for certain things. And now you put all in this basket and then you're ready. They were waiting for a visa on Monday week of the show. Like there is still hope. One of my athletes, uh, Reza Zinotlu, uh, for the show that he actually won uh, in Hungary and, and won the pro card, he didn't get the visa until Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And then Wednesday he gets, right? So they're preparing, preparing like it's going to happen. Like you were preparing for that Arnold Classic. You remember that yeah. one time when... <laughs> Wednesday, hey, Wednesday night I got the, uh, the invite. <laughs> yeah. Hey, and then he said like a two cheesecake pieces in the, in, the, in the fridge and say, I, I'm, I'm eating it. <laughs> so wait another day. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's heartbreaking. You know, people don't put in perspective. Everybody in the in U.S. can travel anywhere to any pro shows and that they don't. Those guys would die to step on the stage and they can. Mm. Well, so, well know, so, that's, soon that's going to change <clears throat> because... Uh -huh. It was supposed to start. But, but, uh, it was supposed to start January first, but now they postponed it to January first, twenty-five. But all U.S. citizens need visa to go to Europe. I heard about that. Oh yeah. yeah, you didn't know. It was supposed to start on the first. No. It was supposed to start on the first. I, but I, they, saw, it on, I saw it on Instagram. But That's they, right. but they, they some, the news channel. <laughs> they somehow, they somehow not ready with the, with the, I don't know, with the software or whatever they have to set up, and now they postpone it to twenty-five. Well, well, yeah. Let me put it this way: When I uh, started competing, I still didn't have a, a U.S. citizenship, so I had a Serbian passport. Mm -hmm. So I go to a European tour with Chris and everybody, and there is uh, uh, seven different countries. And then some countries, like Finland, for example, you have to uh, get a, a visa from the country you're coming from, and where you're going from the Finland. So, and I had to go in that order. So, if if there was a Germany before. You know, I had to get the German visa first, then, you know, Finnish visa, then whatever next. That was a nightmare. So you had to get mm -hmm. a visa to go to Germany back to back then? Everywhere, in each country. But do but, we have to do but, that for each country? But, 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 Milos, the, but was it back then, was it, was it a Serbian passport or a Yugoslavian passport? Yugoslavian. Okay, Yugoslavian. okay so that's different. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought, I, I I thought Yugoslavia was open because Germans didn't need visa to go to no, Yugoslavia. But, uh, I needed it, I, I promise you. Uh, wow. Uh, so... Uh, I lived in San Diego, right? And I had to drive all the way to LA to this embassy, that embassy. And uh, there, there was like, ah, you, you wait for two weeks to get it uh, and stuff like that. Yeah. But back then, yeah. but back then you could still go to the embassies. Now you, you got to make an appointment to give, to even yeah, get no. in. They won't even let you in yeah. no more. It's but, but let's just touch uh, the subject. Uh, uh, when you say, which guys are sure to be there? Nobody's sure. Uh, People complained that maybe both Nick and Andrew could, could have won Arnold Classic last year and nobody would complain. And mm -hmm. I can't say nothing, right? Okay, you have this kind of views. Dennis Wolf, very aesthetic guy, just mentioned, yeah, he likes the shape, but he also recognizes 
you know, the, the muscle and what uh, Nick Walker brings. And we talk about this Chris Cormier uh, physique and Jay Cutler physique. Of course, I love Chris's physique better for many aspects, but then I could see why Chris beat him. I mean, uh, Jay beat him. Or Dorian against Flex. Not every time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I, I think it's just like really what judges are looking for. Uh, Nick Walker was sure that he's going to win last year, right? So he mm -hmm. was pretty much in shock when he lost. And uh, I was very confident that Samson is winning until Dennis, after prejudging, told me he knows for sure, you know, <laughs> he, he <can't> be, <laughs> spoiled my dinner. You know, uh, it's, it's so <laughs> easy. It's so easy to fuck with Milos when it gets to, uh, to athletes. <laughs> yeah, I believe that. Yeah, yes, I, I trust every. You know, but, I, in, but in the same, I don't but, I don't but Milos, in the same, but in the same sentence, what else did I say after I told you he's he's in second? What what else did I tell you? But don't do nothing. Don't do nothing. Did I tell you don't do nothing? Just relax. He he just ordered his food. Oh, oh just, thanks. Oh, thanks a lot, man. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. It completely ruined my dinner. I was so eating that. Uh, we have Ruth Chris. <laughs> we yeah. have Ruth Chris that night. Who? At the restaurant, Ruth Chris. No, the one at the at the at the where did we stay? At the Hilton. Hotel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that that yeah. That, 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 uh -huh. that the whole, the bar at the hotel bar. Oh, okay. <laughs> I fucked up Milos' dinner, man. Oh, he was like, he tried, to, <laughs> he, he tried to be cool, but uh, <laughs> you know year Milos. Before, you know Milos. Hey, listen, year, year before, you were absolutely right for the prejudging uh, when uh, when uh, Hadi was one point again, uh, in front of uh, Derek, 2022. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you were spot on. And then when we see the prejudging. Uh, scores later after the finals. Uh, so Dennis knows what other people don't. <laughs> I've, I've, I've never. But I don't. Know, but I don't always tell the truth. I like that. That's sometimes I. But I'm gonna record you saying that. Can you imagine if I would have told you he's winning? I mean. Yeah, That's what 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 would, what no. would be wrong with that? The surprise wasn't there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> can, do, imagine, can, did anybody film you Saturday when he won? Probably not. I mean, listen, okay, it's a huge victory, all this stuff, but uh, already from uh, Steve Weinberger, and I think I told you, and Jim, Jim Mannion, when I ask uh, for opinion, he said, don't change a thing. Yeah. Okay, so when you hear, don't change a thing, what does that mean? What did I say? A little bit more. Is all right. Do a little bit more. <laughs> what yeah. did, I, did I tell you? Oh, you got to get him harder. You got to do this. You got to do that. I said, don't do nothing. <laughs> just eat your fucking meal. Hey, hey, just relax. He's losing. <laughs> just relax. He's losing. Uh, okay. Yeah. I will. I promise. Now I will never do that to you again. Yeah. But That's but it. let's talk about this. You you mentioned Justin Rodriguez, and nobody is like counting that he can. Uh, maybe spoil, you know, some plans, right? Mm -hmm. I think he has the physique to do it. Uh, Rafael Brandao, right? Again, a lot of people, oh, uh, he can. Yes, he can. Uh, Marcelo, of course, yes. James Collins. I don't know. Is there... I don't know enough about Marcelo. I, don't, I, I really don't have a lot to look back at. Uh, who, who, Chris, you were in Romania. No, you were not in Romania. You were just in Prague. And unfortunately, you didn't see him. Yeah, I, I mean... Uh, that's I, uh, I, I just can't see him go to uh, uh, Columbus and be a factor, he's yeah. gonna be a factor for yeah. sure. Really, but is, is, uh, it that, is it that good? Because I really don't know, to be honest. Yeah, he's good, he's very good. Now, of course, when, when you go against Samson and uh, and uh, uh, Hadi, you know, top three at Olympia, you know, that's that's elite level, you know, if you can break into this. And listen, if you get some comparisons. And uh, like Marcelo got with the Samson at uh, Romania, and there's a lot of pictures that you you can see. He, he earned the right to stand next to him, you know. Of course, Samson was beating him. Yeah, but it's, you know, easy, but it's easier to stand next to the top guys at a show like Prague or Romania. But this is the honor. It's the honor. It's going to be hard. I think it's going to be hard. But I listen. Hey, if you say he looks John, great, John De La Rosa, right? Let's not forget about John. Mm -hmm. You know, he is great. Uh, maybe if I'm forgetting anybody, I apologize. I, I consider everybody uh, a threat. Yeah. Dennis, what do you think? 
when it's a top level competition, you know. So they're not amateurs, they're not beginners. So and uh, like a lot of people can move up to the top three, right? So like uh, what he said looks great, it looks massive, uh, but how is gonna look next to like Hardy, right? Because Hardy, we you know, he's a, a granite hard condition. So I mean, this is very, very tough for everyone, uh, you know, just just stand next to him. So yeah, I think uh, I think you know, like the top guys like Hardy and Samson, they're gonna be dangerous and uh, hard to beat. That's what I think. Still, you know, I mean, still even you know, you just kind of imagine anybody can move, can move up, right? So, I mean, you never know, right? Injury, whatever, I, you know, hopefully not. So, all right, but uh, it's it's a very tough show. You know, it's Arnold. It's like second best show in the world, you know, or second biggest show in the world next to uh, Olympia. So, yeah, it's going to be tough. And uh, I know everybody is putting a work in. And so, yeah, I'm excited. I'll, I'll like be there, actually. So, yeah, looking forward to watch the life. I like the fact that Hardy is throwing his name into the hat for the Arnold. Yes, yeah. yeah. that it was a good choice to to you know to yeah. do the Arnold. That alone, I don't even think it's for the prize money. I think this is simply to, you know, get redemption and to let people know yeah. who he is and setting himself yeah. setting himself up for another win at the Olympia. That's that's what I think. That's my opinion. And uh, but uh, you know you don't see a lot of guys like this. Who, you know, throw their throw their names into the mix. You know, how many times you saw Ronnie Coleman do it once? You saw Jay do once, it. Yeah. Jay, did Jay ever do the Arnold after he won the Olympia? No. No? So, no, no, no. Yeah, so no. it's 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 not, not a lot of people want to do it because what ha what would happen if he plays his third or fourth? It, and, they, they, and Brandon didn't decide to do it, did he? Not yet, I guess. No. I don't think. I don't yeah, know. you could. That's a big risk, right? So if you're already been a champion, mm. it's a big risk. Yeah. You know, kind of you're stepping down, right? It's like it's still Arnold, but it's it's not Olympia, right? So yeah. and then losing there, it means who? The next year, yeah. maybe. Oh, if Hardy wins, that's gonna if, be a completely if, different. If Hardy wins the Arnold, he's back in. Or let's say he, if Hardy wins both Arnolds, then it's going to be the Derek Hardy show in in, yeah. in, in, in at the in, at the Olympia. I don't think. Anybody's going to argue with that. If, now, if Hardy loses to Samson, it's a different ball game. Yeah. You know? But I, I, think, I think their goal is just to show the world who they are. And I'm talking about Hardy. Yeah, Hard, but, but listen, Hardy. Dennis, uh, last week you were, you were talking about that $300,000. I, mean, I know, <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm talking about Hadi right now because Hadi lives Hadi in, situation. in Hadi's situation. Hey. He lives hey. in Iran. He is a made man with the money that he made. That's in Iran is 20 times the amount. So I know, it's still <laughs> I know, it's still, yeah. it's still 300. I mean, I played, but that, that yeah. made, that made the, 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 the choice a lot easier, I'm sure. But the risk of him not winning the show is not worth $300,000. I think it is, man. It's just another show, even if it's close, right? Uh -huh. So everybody knows, since Hadi showed up on the IBB Pro scene, pro debut, he was second in, uh, to Raleigh Winkler. He should have beat him at the uh, Dubai show. Then every show afterwards, 2019 Olympia top three, 2020. He was only one time fourth when Phil Heath came on. And that was Big Ramy, uh, the Brandon, and uh, Phil Heath. He could have arguably beat uh, Phil at that show. Mm -hmm. And then again, uh, third place to Rami and Brandon, uh, 2021. I mean, Hadi is that good. So what if he's first, second, third? Samson is top notch. I call him hashtag the next. Mm -hmm. He is coming, you know. So if he, even if he loses to Samson, what? 
He's going to Olympia already. No, I lost. It's How many different. Times? I think it's different if you lose at the Olympia than if you lose at another show. Yeah, but, but Chris was beating and losing to so many guys. Yeah, but Chris, uh, Chris did not Brownian. win. Chris did not win the Olympia, so it, it's not the same thing. What I'm trying, what I'm, I don't know if it makes sense what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is that Hadi is doing this show, and this is my opinion, okay? I don't know if it's true. This is just my opinion. Yeah. He's doing this show just to show the world I'm coming to get that title back. And this oh, yeah. is the first thing you want to do is you want to win the Arnold against the guy who, who won the Arnold last year and who got third at the Olympia. So just want to prove to the world where I stand and where these other guys. I think I think so. That's how they feel, and and I and I like the fact that he's doing it because yeah, there's a risk. Yeah. I think there's a risk for him if he loses. I think I mean it's not a big risk, but it's a risk. You lose if you lose against Samson, or if he lose against anybody. I don't think it looks great. That's okay, why. So Nick, that's why you Nick never, lost to Samson. Okay, Nick, Nick lost. To Nick Samson. didn't win the Olympia. And you said like Nick didn't win the Olympia. He should have won the Olympia. I know. Okay. But, but he, he lost to Samson. But he didn't win the Olympia. What difference does it make? No, it's a, it's a different. But no, it, I, 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 I get Dennis because yeah. if you're a champion, Mr. Olympia, and then you lose the title. And that's how it looks like. I agree with you, with you on that. It looks like he's, he's doing not that the for himself. I know. Right? But, so but, it's he not like it's, but he lost it's to not what? because money, but he, he wants to be back on it. You know, yeah. so he wants to be back in like, uh, you know, uh, you know, going back to the Olympia this year too, you know. So, but... In order to do it, he needs to prove for himself as well yeah. that he is the man to beat, right? So, and uh, I, you know, I understand what you mean, and I agree on that because sometimes, like, how many times, if you remember, you had to fight with yourself, just you know, to figure out yeah, what you know I want to do and uh, where you're at, right? So, if you're losing to somebody, right? So, the next show, picking the next show, is always difficult, right? So, and of course, the bigger show like Arnold, you know, everybody is hard to beat. And, uh, you know, it's always a chance to lose it again, right? So, yeah, it's it's more difficult, I think, for Hadi uh, in, in his mind, you know? So, and that's his fight. Yeah. I mean, listen, if Hadi wins, he's putting him on the map again, of course. If Samson wins, he put him on the map for the Olympia. I mean, I'm not talking about top three. I'm talking about the win. Uh, that's just, we always say this. Who wins the Arnold puts himself on the map for the win the Olympia. Samson can win. That'd be fucking. If he wins, it's it's it's. Um, I say ninety percent. He's winning the Olympia. I know it's early to yep. say that, but that's that's that's. If he wins, if he brings the condition and beats Hardy, he has never beat. He has never beaten Hardy yet. If he, but beats, you know, if he was, let's say, twenty. I don't know, twenty percent, fifteen percent harder at the Olympia, he would have he would have moved up. Okay, so we we haven't we didn't see that, we didn't see that. If we see that now, then it's How about and, that and, then, and then everything and then everything we always say is going to come to fruition. I mean, we said it. If he brings the condition, it's it's not going to be beatable, especially not by someone that's a foot shorter. Well, well, if you look at the history, I got beaten twice by. Bridge Warren. So you see, <laughs> yeah. it's possible. A shorter guy beat the uh, taller guy. Of course, guy. it's, it's possible. possible. It's possible. That's why Milos bring him hard. Bring yeah. him hard. Of course, it's yeah. possible. I, I we mean, saw he, it. We saw it happen the last two years. So of course, it's possible. Yeah. You know. So. Yeah. But I think the Arnold is a very important show for for Hardy, and it's a very important show for Samson. Yeah. Because sure. and uh, let me give you another example. Because we talk about Hardy, what I think is my what keep... my my opinion is my other opinion is that Samson cannot get less than second. Let's say, for instance, Samson ends up in fourth, or even worse, yeah. fifth. Let's just that will hurt him at the Olympia. <laughs> of course, <laughs> uh, but yeah. now you understand that. But you don't understand it when I when I mention Hardy. If Hardy doesn't win the Arnold, it's going to hurt him at the Olympia. It's another day, another show. Uh, I know. Same, like, I get it. Hiding. I, I, but, yeah. you, but you know how you it know. is. The hype. The hype is important. Yeah. The, hype is, the, hype is, the hype is important. Right now, Third, yes. I really think that uh, let's give a credit to the judges. Judges do not care for a hype. What happened yesterday? What do you have for me today? That's that's what they're looking on the stage. I know, I know, but still, really? the hype. So, I'm talking about the hype to the you know the the the, the storyline, 
Those are the things that make a show great. And I think that's the very, it's very important. The top pre-Olympia, uh, Nick Walker is going to the Arno Classic last year. It's a hype. You know, he, there's nobody there to beat him, right? And he lost because, mm. uh, you know, Samson is a better man. Yeah, and this is how it goes. I, I really, I disagree with you that, uh, okay, if Hadi loses, that's it for him. I'm, I, didn't, lose, whoa, 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 I didn't say that. But it's not like that's it. Come on, it, it will, Milos, it Milos. Not, great. Milos. not a good look, put it that way. Yeah, I never said that. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> I never said if he loses the honor, that's, that's it for him. Come on. Pretty I, much, that's what it meant. You no, know, you, you listen, the for the guys that listening, for the guys, hold on, hold on, Milos. For the guys that listening, that what Milos just said is, a, is it, it, totally not what I meant to say. So if he got it like that, I, I'm sure that the listeners will, they will, under, that, uh, this they will understand what edited. I'm saying. No, it's not going to be edited, yeah. 100%. <laughs> um, but, so, yeah, um, why would but. be a risk then? Huh? Okay, so explain me, what is he risking then? Hype, hype, hype. hype. And listen, nobody wants to go, when you lose the Olympia, I mean, we don't even know what it feels like to lose the Olympia. Yeah, I had especially, no <laughs> Especially not when you think you should have won, okay? Now, yeah. I'm just trying to go into this person's mind. So now I lost the Olympia. Why am I doing the Arnold? To win. To win. 300,000 and, uh, and being okay. at the Arnold show. Listen. To, hold on. Let me, do not, been, let me finish. Let me, let me finish. Let me finish. You can speak after. So now I'm doing the Arnold to redeem myself. Number one. Number two, Arnold is a big show. Number three, it's got a lot of prize money. Okay? So if I lose the Arnold, it, I'm not the same. My motive, the motivation is not the same. You lost to the guy who's Mr. Olympia now, and if you lose the Arnold against Samson, now you lost to the guy that was behind you, it's not the same. It's not the same. Right. Winning the Arnold will give him a kick that make him go to the Arnold, to the Olympia without any issues. I'm, not, then, saying, okay, I'm not saying so. he's going to win the Olympia again. I'm not saying that. I'm saying he sh I thought he should have won the Olympia. But yeah. that's, just my, that's just how I feel. Listen, we can all agree to disagree. It doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, yeah. I like the I'm fact that up. I like the fact that he puts himself into the Arnold because that makes the show way more interesting. So, so, Hadi has never competed at the Arnold Classic. Mm -hmm. Don't you think that every bodybuilder would want to experience this? It's Arnold show. Arnold invited me. I came there. It's the second biggest show on planet Earth. Okay. I mean, okay. Now it, I'm gonna ask you something else, Milos. Mm -hmm. If he would have won the Arnold, uh, if he would have won the Olympia for the second time, you think he would have done the Arnold? No. No, probably. Oh! Probably, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very so, much. <laughs> that proves my but, case. But, 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 <laughs> let's go back in history. I rest my case. Yeah, I mean, he, he wouldn't have done it. Yeah, he wouldn't have done it. In history. He would... well, hold a second, hold a second. Ronnie Coleman uh, won the Olympia and, and test him, uh, himself at uh, at the Arnold Classic. Yeah, yeah. So okay, we all yeah. know that. So, so Olympia winner has never entered the other show and lost, right? In the history, whoever how, how many times? The, how many times did an Olympia, an active Olympia and winner, do the Arnold? Ronnie, who else? Well, listen, Dorian mm -hmm. did the European he show. Did, he never did the Arnold. So who, who did the Arnold? He didn't do the Arnold, yeah, because it's a different part of the okay. year. Okay, so who did the yeah. Arnold other than Ronnie as an Olympia? Brandon, uh, Brandon Curry. He won. What, did, was he the Mr. Olympia when he won the Arnold? Oh, he, no, he won the Arnold that year before Curry. he won the Olympia. So no, that doesn't count. Yeah. As the Olympia yeah. champion, who went to the Arnold and put his name in the hat? Nobody other than oh. Ronnie Coleman. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember anyone. Then, Only to take my damn title. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, like I said, I, listen, I don't know what they're thinking. This is just what I believe. But, like I said, I love the fact that we're going to see a, a, a fight between Hardy and Samson, which will tell us exactly what's going to happen later on this year. I, I mean, yeah. just because uh, Samson beats him, that doesn't necessarily mean that he's going to beat him at the Olympia too, but it would help him. Yeah. It would help him because right now he has no, he never lost, he never won, and he never beat Hardy. So 
if this can happen now, it's always the first time. Yeah, there's always Milos. I'm yeah. not. I'm not against Samson. Please, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm. I'm. I'm just. I. I'm all for a great fight. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You Listen, know? you guys think that okay, just because I, I train some people that, of course, I heavily favored. Yeah. I'm a fan of, but I love Hadi. Yeah, but you heavy. I, you heavy yeah. favorite your people too. Heavy, yeah. heavy, super, that, super, that, super, that, super heavy, super heavy. <laughs> <laughs> but which is which is normal. Means, Everything I said about Samson, I mean it. I know. I'm not saying you're lying. I'm yeah. just saying you are a biased coach. Who you have the right to be biased. You believe in what you do. You believe, and you, obviously you guys show that it's working. So I mean, I, I have nothing to say against it. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> you know. Uh, but we're gonna get to the predictions uh, for this week's. We will see where oh. where <laughs> where everybody has who. You know, because I'm going to start with um, with Dennis Wolf. I'm going to get your predictions. The top, <coughs> top, wait a minute, wait a minute. Top five at the Arnold's. What, D, W, C, C, M, S, D, J. All right, Dennis, give me your top five in particular order. And this doesn't mean that this is going to happen. We are no fortune tellers. This is just how we feel today, eight weeks oh, out. Oh, God. Eight weeks out. What do you see? Oh, all right. Hadi, Samson. Uh, who else? I'll say Brendel in top five. So Brendan, uh, else we got? Brand, Brendan, uh, uh, Brendel, Raphael, Raphael Brendel. in third. Yes. Andrew. Mm hmm. And there's one left, right? Yep. Damn. That's that's gonna be a tough one. Yep, they're all tough. Trust me. Rubio. Well, yeah, I will. I will go with him. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah, he, uh, I, I, mean, even, I don't even know if I can add him to the to the prediction today because he's not even. But he's competing or not? We don't know yet. No, that's not oh, sure. Yeah, but but then again, in his defense, I said we go by today. So as of today, yeah. we still think he's in. So so Rubio yeah. in fifth. Rubio yeah, in top five. Okay. Okay, so we got just to complete, uh, repeat one more time: Hardy, Samson, Raphael, Andrew, Rubiel, CC. What say you? I have uh, Hardy, Samson, Rubiel. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Milos is. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Okay, you got fourth, yeah. fourth, and fifth. Got a horse. Horse. Who's horse? Oh horse. Oh, no, oh. no, no, no. Oh, that Brazilian no. guy. Yeah, no, yeah, no. What's that guy? No, I, want, I, want, I want, I want. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Is his name really horse or is that just a nickname? Oh, it's uh, uh, Marcelo De Angelis, but he's uh, <laughs> Horse MD for okay. whatever it is. Okay, so. <laughs> for whatever so reason. Ma Marcelo. Marcelo. Yeah, Marcelo. Okay, and, and fifth, Chris? Or are you going to change that? No, no. Um, Jacked. Andrew. Fifth, Andrew? Yeah. Okay. That's it. All right. Milos, Mr. Sashev. You already, like la last time, you already predicted that my three guys are in top five. <laughs> you predicted that. And I'm zero biased. Huh? <laughs> you predicted. Okay. But, but here, I still think, listen, to beat Hardy, especially improve Hardy, that it seems like he's coming. That, that, that's hard to, you know, fathom. Yeah. But uh, I, I do think that Samson is the next Olympia champion. And uh, oh, he's we defending. Talk, we're talking about here. the Arnold. We're talking about the Arnold. Yeah. So yeah. I think that, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. I agree with you that it's two-man show mm -hmm. for, a, for a title. It's just uh, Hardy is Hardy and improved Hardy is a diff. You know, I, I call him four times Mr. Olympia by now. So... It would be hard to beat him, but it's possible. And I think it's going to happen. So, Samson winning, uh, Hardy second. Uh, I mean, I'm a big fan of Andrew Jack. And uh, if uh, he's entering the show, I'm sure that uh, he's considering, okay, he has to bring his best. He was good in his pro debut, not so good at Arnold UK. Then he came... Uh, you know, back to Olympia, decent, but he was sick. Then he went to 
Houston, uh, again, it looked very, very good. But uh, at Olympia, he didn't bring it. So we would expect that he's going to take so much time off. But no, he's doing the show. So that tells me that he's motivated. He knows, as Dennis Wolf said, he still needs more mass in the leg department and all that stuff. But everything else is there. Jesus Christ, right? So it's hard for me to see him out of top three because he's also gunning for Olympia title. If he puts, you know, some 10, 15 pounds and uh, distributes uh, in the lower body, how can you deny him? Oh. Right. So I think he's going to be third. Andrew. Uh, I, I've seen uh, uh, James Hollingstead fourth uh, last year. And, uh, no, in I forgot about James in the show. What? I forgot about James in the show. Yeah. James is, uh, yeah, tremendous. You know, he he's every bodybuilder is bodybuilder. He's one of those that you guys, uh, like, you appreciate that raw bodybuilding, you know, the the thick muscle and and uh, and the graininess and he he, he can bring that. Uh, we need, but he's competing with the wide guys, wide, right? That uh, th that's uh, one thing that I'm trying to bring with the uh, with the James. We're working on that one, and I see him, you know, uh, fighting definitely. Even for listen, if Andrew is off, you know, he can he can, he can fight with him. Uh, I saw him fourth last week. Uh, I, I'm gonna go with the, my other guy. <laughs> okay, so okay, so who you got? Horse. Who is fourth? Horse is gonna be fourth, huh? So you got horse and fourth. Yeah. So Marcelo. And, uh, yeah. Okay. My, my top. I'm a zero biased, uh, and the fifth is gonna be James. So I have a, my three guys in the top five. <laughs> so you so so just you're out of your mind. So, so Listen, yeah. just to compare to last week or not two weeks ago, I just you dropped James from third to fifth. Did I? Mm. I, I no, I didn't have him on third. Yes, you did. Yes, you There's did. No way. You, you, gotta way. Down, you, buddy. you know what the good thing is? You can watch. It. You thing. can watch okay. it. You can watch it back. So I had him over Andrew. You had. Do it two weeks ago when Nick was on. You had Samson, Hardy, James, Andrew, and Horse. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I thought that uh, I would put Andrew. Okay. So, so <laughs> Listen, it's, it's, it's not. I bias it's, it's not coming out. Gonna, Don't text listen, me later. Gonna, so listen, it's a four thirty in the morning. I'm going <laughs> to review that tape. I'm going to go and review that tape. Milos I, Milos, I write it down. That's why I know. Yeah, but that, that was your, pre you know. Really? Yeah, I wrote it down. <laughs> okay, I, you I, I always then. write down. He was little. He say. was. He was. Uh, what did he look like? I can tell uh, you. I can tell you what Chris had last week compared to this time. Chris yeah, last week listen, had Hardy, Samson, Rubiel, Andrew, and then Horse. I, I and I, I had the Rafael also, right? I had the Rafael. No, because no, you had Rafael. No, you had not Rafael. You had, didn't have Rafael anywhere. The only one that had Rafael in it that was me and Nick. Uh, uh, okay. There's no. I would think it's uh, between no. Rafael and Marcel, and then of course, if there is between them, then I, I would go with. Them. I'm going to review the tape. You can feel free. Yeah. Feel free. <laughs> <laughs> feel free. <laughs> hey, uh, the other Dennis. So before uh, Dennis asked me for predictions, he already wrote what I'm going to say. <laughs> that was it's, last. It's that was crazy, last. Right? That was two weeks ago. Uh, two weeks ago. Yeah. Last week we didn't even predict yet. No, no. That's why. I, yeah, that's why. why I have the one. I don't know. We were. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Because I was talking shit that they had to be edited for eighteen minutes. <laughs> 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 that bad. <laughs> I, I wasn't even gonna bring it up. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, anyway. Yeah, we, we were too busy uh, communicating after the podcast. Yeah. No, anyway, so now I'm going to go with mine. Mine, I'm going to have Hardy winning. Samson in second. I'm going to have Rafael in third. I'm going to put Andrew in fourth. And I'm going to put James in fifth. Mm. So, yeah, that's compared to last time. I had Hardy, Samson, Andrew, Rubiel, and Rafael. What happened? Oh, so what happened to Rubiel? 
I, I'm not convinced <laughs> today. Uh, we have seven more predictions to come before the show. Do it. Do it. Do yeah, it. yeah, we got so much more. I mean, I, I don't want to say the same thing every week. <laughs> show me something. Show us something on the internet for me to say, oh, fuck. Now let's put them back in there. We gotta right, see. Right. We gotta see what yep. they post. I haven't seen yep. any. I, I haven't seen nothing from Ruby L. So, you know, give me something. Yes, yeah, so, so you you were saying that uh, uh, maybe it's not a good idea to put too much uh, stuff before the contest, right? Mm -hmm. Like updates and all that. You stuff. You don't have to because... do a lot. Just give me something. Yeah, but if you do one, then what's the point of not doing uh, no, it's, every day? It's different. It. Yeah, if you do it every day, and then you know, it's obvious that it's you. Just, it's obvious you do it when you stand somewhere in the gym in the best light, fully pumped, where we already know this is not what we're going to see. You mm -hmm. know, you can't fool me with pictures. <laughs> you can't. I don't care what you post. I can tell you if you put the filter on there, I can see they use saturation to make it look like you're harder when you're not. I, you know, yeah. give me the soft picture, the real deal. You know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, that's why I like Hadi. Hadi gives that he doesn't give us a lot, but he gives us something just to remember. Don't forget, you know, Samson. He does more than more than than he needs because he <laughs> wants. But, but listen, this is social media, and people they can uh, uh, um, profit from a good social media account. And I see, I see, I I, I get it. You know? you know, back in the day, uh, the the weather had a problem with me posting all those pictures. I was a fan, and I, I'm there is, is, is seeing it in my gym in front of me, and I have a picture. I said, "Yeah, but, with it. yeah, because but I'm we, gonna post it." But we, <laughs> but we done paid Chris Lunt to be in your gym to take pictures of these guys for the magazine, uh -huh. and you will post that shit before the magazine hits. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be pissed too. <laughs> Those, you know, people can't wait for them to buy the magazine to get the stories and the pictures. And Milos has already posted shit on dial-up network. Ding, 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 ding. The pictures coming. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it was so, I get in trouble for it. it. Yeah, it was so funny. We do a photo shoot with Chris, and Chris be on the floor with his lens, and Milos be standing behind the machine with the. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting mad about that, but and he would always get great pictures. Yeah, he, he would yeah always because get I had a I had a light set up by a master. Yeah, you know, so anybody can be a good with, with Chris Lund's lights. Yeah, you know. Did anybody ever got in contact with Chris? Someone? No, I don't know. I have a I lot. Have of, I have a lot of photo shoots on video that I had it's a video. It's the same email for thirty years. I sent an email. That's nothing. Nothing really. Mm -mm. I said well, nothing to do with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should have yeah. said I'm I'm Chris Comier. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm the one that fell asleep in the photo shoot. <laughs> Multiple times. <laughs> holding on, <laughs> holding on to the machine. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that was one time, one show. You only fell asleep once. One, one at one time. One, one period of. Show one one sh one shoot. Well, that uh, happened eighty eight in a in a Coney Island with Brian. That was one shoot. That was that, was, only... a, that was the one. Yeah. Okay. What, the what, a, what about the one at Coliseum, Jim? I didn't fall asleep. I might have. I better. Been, I was thinking I was late. I was... <laughs> no, I had to. I, I had to come in and do the photo shoot for you. I was late. <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping. Yeah. That's late. Late. <laughs> all right. All right. Listen, all right. listen, guys. I appreciate you all making the time. Dennis, thank you. Uh thank you too. We'll, thank we'll, you for having me. We'll see each other soon anyways. Milos, Chris. Milos, you coming home this weekend? Yeah, uh Thursday. Yeah. Thursday. Okay. Yeah. So you'll be back, you'll be back at the Apex on Saturday. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait. <laughs> Chris, what are you up to? Oh man, I'm. Uh, are, you, what are, am you, I? are you going somewhere? No, I'm not going anywhere. I might go to Vegas for a second. Huh. Might drop into Vegas in and out, and then. Uh, Whatever happened with the gym in Vegas? Did you open a gym? No, what's happening? Yeah, yeah, it's there. It's going. Okay. It's going. Where yeah, is yeah. it? What's the name? I'm, I'm what's the... The... It's Anytime Rainbow. Fitness up there on South Rainbow. It's like not far from. Uh, Anytime but, Fitness isn't that from... isn't that a chain? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Because I see, I, I've seen that. Is that a chain here in the U.S. or was that in Australia? It's all over. It's Australia. Oh, it's, okay. Because uh, I remember. It's one of the biggest chains in the world. Oh, okay. 
All right, cool. All right, guys. Hey, listen. When are we going to start with the, our seminars and training camps? As soon as somebody uh, commits. Yeah. But we are, Chris and I are committed. You, I'm, not, the, I'm the not talking about you part. two. I'm, ta I'm talking about the people that's going oh, okay. to put up the money. <laughs> Somebody, hey, listen, Sponsors. listen. Sponsors. If we say we do it for free, we can go anywhere, anywhere in the world. Oh yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to make sure that I want to let people know this is that's it's not uh, it's not for free. So as soon as as soon as people are back on their feet, the aim is to move. be sold, not to be told. Exactly, exactly. All right, guys, Milos, go to sleep. Guys, y'all take care. Be safe. <laughs> Thank you, Dennis. Bless. Milos, if you depress. Yeah, well, please, thank you, thank you, please, please do, please do, please do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. All right. See you. All right. Have a good day. Bye-bye, guys.